Welcome to Bada Boom. I'm Chris. The Energon universe has arrived. Skybound's relaunch of the Transformers and G.I. Joe franchises begins with Daniel Warren Johnson's Transformers. Johnson serves as both writer and artist with colors by Mike Spicer. Issue 1, released today, delivers everything fans of the Transformers franchise could have hoped for. In this review, we will discuss Issue 1 and also explore the Energon universe and its future. After IDW lost the Hasbro license, which included Transformers and G.I. Joe, there was uncertainty about what to expect. The books had not garnered much interest for some time, and it is rare to see a Boom Studios Power Rangers-like relationship, where the books breathe new life into the license and inspire a world of storytelling possibilities. Transformers accomplishes just that. We all knew we were in for a treat in what was thought to be an original Robert Kirkman book, Board Rivals, was revealed at the end that it was tied into a larger Energon universe, and a relaunch of Transformers would be written and drawn by superstar creator Daniel Warren Johnson. Before I continue, I want to mention that this is a full spoilers review and discussion. Please read Transformers number one, catch up on Void Rivals, and then come back to this video. Transformers starts off with an emotional page that contrasts the death of a human with what is believed to be the death of Optimus Prime. Their lifeless bodies mirror each other. And this page will likely be important as the new Energon universe brings together the worlds of G.I. Joe and Transformers. Next, we cut to a bar where Spike is checking in on his drunk dad, Sparky, who is the man shown on the first page holding that dead human in his arms. It is clear through their interaction that that was a significant loss for both of them and has caused a rift in their relationship. Daniel Warren Johnson excels at portraying loss and how it affects relationships, just as he did in his previous work, Do Our Power Bottle. Spike and Sparky go their separate ways after tense talks. Sparky is picked up by his friend Dave for their night shift at the power plant. And Spike meets up with his friend Carly to stargaze in the mountains. That is until, of course, they fall into the mountain and stumble upon an abandoned spaceship filled with lifeless Transformers. Jetfire, who was awakened at the end of Void Rivals number one, believes he has found his comrades. But he is in for a rude awakening when Starscream also awakens and puts two in Bumblebee's head. During this encounter, Jetfire learns that while he was in his slumber, Cybertron erupted into an all-out war between Autobots and Decepticons. Optimus Prime rises to the occasion, embodying his role as a one-man army against Decepticons. Johnson's dynamic artwork leaps off the page as Optimus Prime delivers powerful moves reminiscent of JBL's clothesline from hell and delivers an insane German suplex. If you expected Johnson to reserve his wrestling-themed storytelling for actual wrestling books, you were mistaken. This is exactly what fans want from a DWJ Transformers book. Now I just need to see Optimus Prime powerbomb Megatron. During the battle, Jetfire realizes his mistake. Witnessed by Spike and Carly, they assist Optimus in retrieving his signature weapon, and along with the other Autobots, blast their way out together. Shaken by his error, Jetfire follows and is gravely wounded by Starscream. While trying to protect Optimus and the Autobots, dying in Optimus' arms, mirroring the events of the first page. The book concludes with Starscream attempting to harvest energy at a power plant where Sparky and Dave work. Starscream ends up squishing Dave to death. Overall, this issue is action-packed and emotionally fulfilling. Delivering on the promise of Void Rivals number one, there was never any doubt in readers' minds about DWJ and Skybound's ability to deliver a great Transformers book. However, seeing it executed in the best way possible is a thrilling experience on every page. The story is primarily focused on the awakening of the Transformers on Earth, with world-building details integrated throughout. Starscream assumes leadership of the Decepticons, triggered by the mention of Megatron. It is also clear that Sparky's military background will play a role in the connecting the worlds of G.I. Joe and Transformers. This issue serves as a perfect introduction, seamlessly tying into board rivals yet allowing new readers to jump right in and experience the excitement of joining something bigger. Looking ahead to the future of the Energon universe, it appears bright. The timing is perfect for these worlds to collide, as shown in Transformers Rise of the Beast. 
With superstar talent behind these books, Skybound aims to expand this universe in the right way, marking the new beginning of the Transformers and G.I. Joe world. What did you guys think of Transformers number one? Are you excited for what's to come in the Energon universe? Let us know in the comments below. Also, do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe. With that, bada boom.